guys, it is Thanksgiving 2013 and I wanted to make a quick post to um, say Happy Thanksgiving and to um, just share what I'm grateful for. I'm wearing my glasses, which means I didn't put on makeup and I'm not looking too cute and um, I'll work on it. I'll get better. I just had a, a hard day of getting ready and slacking and a lot of other stuff. So. I wanted to just share some of the things that I'm thankful for, and um, that being my family. Uh, I have a big family, and I've come from generations and generations of amazing people, really, really amazing people, and I've gotten an adopted family, so to speak. When I got divorced tw 12 years ago, I don't remember. When I got divorced a long time ago, um, I sort of got this football family when my kids played football and neighbors and church family and whatever and they have become amazing friends to me and I love them and they've helped me raise my boys and they've been um amazing I can't I can't even imagine my life without them so very grateful for them my glasses are bugging me with the glare I'm in my bathroom so I painted my wall purple it looks not the right color in here. So, um, I'm so grateful for my health. Um, gaining a lot of weight in the last three or four years has slowed me down, made me tired. Um, uh, but I, I can still get around. Um, I'm in a wheelchair. I don't know if I told you is that I got in a car accident when I was 18. It was about 22 years ago or something. 20. I don't know. Anyway, I'm grateful I can still get around. I'm re really, really grateful for my health. I'm really sad I let some of my health go and excited to um, improve on that. Um, my physical health helps my mental health and my spiritual health as well. And that's one good lesson that I am learning. So um, I'm really grateful for my health because a lot of people don't have it. And some people who work 24 seven to keep healthy um, end up unhealthy and that's not, doesn't seem fair, but life's not fair. And um, I'm just grateful for my health and I hope I can do better to respect it and honor it and improve on it. I'm so grateful for my boys. Um, last month they turned 18 and 15. So they're not babies anymore, but they'll always be my babies and I love them. They are, it is about, what time is it? It's about 9, 9.30 on Thursday night, Thanksgiving. And Walmart opened at 8 o'clock for the Black Friday and they don't care about shopping and they're the last people on the planet that would go for that, but they want to do it with their friends. And I think it's to look at girls and to just drive around and to just see thousands of people standing there doing nothing. They went last year for the first time and they waited for like two hours to get in the store and they got out of the 50 things they wanted, they got one thing. And then when they waited in line for like three hours, they were just like, this is so not worth it. And they like put it back and just like left. So I'm assuming it's going to be something like that. So um, kind of the night to myself and I want to clean out some stuff and organize some stuff, maybe have a nice bath, but I'm too tired and I'm going to probably lay in my bed and play games or read a book or something because that's where I'm at. So I just wanted to say that um, I'm so grateful, grateful for all my friends Um Grateful for my life. I'm grateful for new beginnings and second chances and third and fourth chances. And um, I'm going to take these chances and I'm going to try and run with them because I think the biggest mistake we can make in life is to accept a second, a third, and a fourth chance and just assume that behind that chance is another one and another one because I think it's a, a shame how I use my chances. I don't think they're going to be endless and forever. So I need to really commit to eating better, doing better, getting up earlier, um, taking baby steps to organize things, organize my life, little things like putting my contacts in and putting on a little makeup an extra 20 minutes a day that, you know, means a lot to my soul. And it's not, you know, about just the outer. It's how my inner feels when I feel like I'm taking care of me. And I think this body was a gift from a God from God and um, I think if I abuse it or don't make it the best it can be, I think it's a little insulting to him, I believe. And um, I don't judge people by how they look. 
I don't care how I look in front of people, unfortunately. I'm going to try and care a little bit because this is a gift. This is a gift that I've been given and I can spend 15, 20 minutes to thaw it up a little or take a little pride in it. Um, when I go to church, I wear my Sunday best. I feel like I should shine my shoes and, you know, look a little bit better and nicer. And it's not because they'll judge me or it's a fashion show. It's because of respect and honoring, you know, my Heavenly Father. And I think that should be the same way in life. You should respect, you know, I have a home. I should respect it. I should take the extra time to make sure it's clean and running well and things are going well so they don't um, get ruined. So I think that's the same with your body and your car and everything else you've been given. Take pride in it. It doesn't mean you're prideful or judgmental or you think that's the most important thing, but it's been on the last of my list and it, they're all suffering and I don't think that's respecting what I've been given and um, yeah so I uh, I need to prioritize my life my kids come first and their needs come first and that's important and it'll always kind of be like that but I need it I need to be second I need to or be first I need to put myself first and um, do better in that area but I am so thankful for my children, I'm thankful for my body, I'm thankful for um, my spirit, my soul. I feel like I'm definitely not perfect, um, but I, I love people. I love people, I like helping them, I like making them smile. Um, I, I like people and I'm grateful for that because there's a lot of people in the world and around me. So um, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving no matter where you are. No matter what you're doing, just make the best of it because it probably could always be worse. Um, I'm thankful for the troops and all the people all over the world protecting us so that we can have Thanksgiving and we can be safe in our homes. And I'm grateful for my beautiful home. It's it's little and it's not like the... Uh, oh, it's saying low battery. Do I have to push on it? Okay. Uh, it's not the greatest thing in the world and it's pretty little. It's one of the, my smaller houses if I think of all my friends but it's mine and I love it and I'm so grateful for it I'm grateful for my car it's 2003 I think that would make it over 10 years old it has over 100,000 miles but I love it I'm thankful for it and I'm so grateful that I have a car and that I have my life I'm grateful for my life I have beautiful children beautiful family wonderful friends I have amazing opportunities and I hope that you think of five things that make you happy and five things you're grateful for. And um, even if things look bleak and there's some really bad things going on, I hope that you enjoy this day and I hope this makes your day. Have a great one. Bye.